Welcome back. I'm glad to be here. What we're going to do right now is we're going to show you guys a muskrat float. What it is is I've got this nice pond right here. And there's a lot of muskrats they're seeing in here. But they got a tight wall right here. And there's no way that I can find a run in here because they're so deep. This water right off the edge here is probably just about four foot deep. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a muskrat set in here on this float. What we've got is we've got a Victor number one stop loss. The stop loss, many different brand makes them. I just happen to have these old Victors, so that's what I use. The way, that, the way this works is this bar comes across just like this. Then you've got this little piece that comes down, pan comes up, that is set. Then you take this little keeper and slide through there. Now the idea is muskrat will come by and hit that and set it off and get caught. Then when he pulls, this piece comes out and the stop loss actually comes down and hits him. It'll knock him out and they drown. Because what we're going to do is we're going to set these and float them on this log or on this float. The important part too to remember with these is watch where you put your fingers. I've been trapping 30 years or so, and I still catch my finger every year. It just becomes second nature sometimes. Now a lot of people think these traps really, really hurt. I don't recommend doing this as a kid, but here's what will happen. Just like that. Now you can see how that thing really operates. As you can see, my, my fingers are caught. This piece here is not going to let me get down to chew that off. Now on the bottom, you see I have an eye bolt there. What we're going to do is we're going to run this piece of wire right through that eye bolt. Now behind me, I have window weights. I have two of them. Here I don't need two, but I've already got these wired together. So we'll take these two window weights. this kind of wire together just like that. Okay, now we're going to ease these in. Now the way I've got this set, I've got this wire coming off of one side. And what I'm going to do is set that just like that. And I'm going to make sure I've got the wire. Okay. If I've got ducks and geese, I won't use corn. I'll use a potato or a carrot. There's no ducks or geese here, though. So I can take this corn, put right on there. Now I've got a little bit of anise. Anise is really, really a good thing to use. So I'm going to put just a drop of it right on top of the corn here. Now I've got some muskrat lure. What I'm going to do I'm going to find me a stick. I'm going to throw some of it right here. Just like that. 
put that stuff in my bucket. And then I'm going to ease my float into the water. Now those traps are submerged, but the muskrat will come up where that trap is because that's the lowest point. He'll come up to step on, he'll step on that trap, set the trap off, and down he goes. One muskrat float in operation.